Uh, thank you and good afternoon all. Well, it's, I hope uh, after lunch session, it's not easy, anyway. Well, uh, this, uh, basically I'm representing Aquafish. Uh, mm, Hilary Egna is the director of Aquafish Innovation Lab and she couldn't come here and she asked me to represent uh, here. So we giving one talk, the fish production system in Nepal. My, I'm Madhav Srasta and my colleague Aaron Misra. Uh, he works in government officer officer. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit of fish product and systems in Nepal, and then a we'll little bit of the innovation, Aquafish Innovation Lab. Mm -hmm. Well, it's sometimes it says it's a mismatch of topography of Nepal, and I'll talk about the fish and aquaculture. Uh, if you see, this is a percentage of high mountains, mid hills, and southern plain. Most of the aquaculture in southern plains, we have most of the area in mid hills. How to do it? Uh, well, this uh, I give some status of the uh, production system in Nepal. So total production, Nepal, you can see it's 56,000 metric ton, total production. And out of that, aquaculture has 36,500, uh, rest 21,500 uh, metric ton captured fisheries. Uh, in last 10, 15 years back, captured fishery was in the same level, aquaculture right uh, low level. Now aquaculture have gone up and it, uh, it succeeded much in the fisheries. So this, even then you can see the fish pro, uh, per cap fish production, whatever we do in Nepal, there are many fish comes outside too, but our production supports on two kg per capita per year. Well, uh, this is how we have different uh, systems categorized aquaculture system. We have pond aquaculture, swamp, cage, paint, paddy field, raceways, and total what we have, the percentage. So most of the aquaculture we do in the pond aquaculture and the rest are uh, unless at 7% and 11% rest are very less, but it's coming up. Uh, so if you see the distribution pattern, geographic distribution, basically it's uh, uh, from east side to, you go to the western side, eastern region produces 35%. Central region for the 40 percent, and if you go western region, top 15, midwestern, far western. So this, when you go western side, really less production system and really less aquaculture. So this is the region we need to improve, I guess. Uh, seed availability in Nepal is uh, now private sector has 81 percent, and government sector 19 percent. So private sector taking off all the seed production technology and fulfilling the demand. Uh, now we. Just try to see this uh, fish production systems, how we just categorize in fish production systems. Uh, let's say one aspect, small scale household aquaculture. We just gave categorizing three labels. One label is small scale household aquaculture. Generally, it's a family household run pond, uh, less than 200 square meter. It's a subsystem of household farming. It's a kind of a subsystem that holds it. A small scale is always integrated farming. Out of that, uh, one subsystem is aquaculture. Uh, sorry, how is that? And not in all farmers, but some farmers who have the opportunity, who have the water resources, they can go for a uh, small pond and they have integrated systems. So you see, it's uh, most in, in this system, 60 to 70 percent of fish produced goes for family consumption. That's we say nutrition, we talk about the nutrition, family nutrition, and 30 to 40 percent sale for supplemental income. This system goes like that. Then uh, if you go for another semi-commercial aquaculture, what I uh, try to coin it, is a little bit large ponds, uh, say it's also uh, a household pond basically, family pond, it's maybe number one to four, some have less, more, or some have go more, but they are Another has a cage culture, mostly in the cage culture in the uh, lakes and reservoirs. They have a cages. They are in a cage also, we can say semi commercial. So, few cages, one, two, few, or three, five, four cages. This is semi commercial. In this aspect, whatever the majority of fish goes for sale, and remaining uh, maybe 20% or less than that, they go for consumption. That's how we say semi commercial. Then we have another system, it's a commercial aquaculture. This is a registered commercial farm. Uh, mostly these are we, have, we can categorize the pond culture, uh, cage culture, and raceway culture. Uh, you can say raceway culture mostly going to the uphills. So this uh, commercial aquaculture, this commercial aquaculture is recently coming up. So, uh, we, we can say within f uh, five, six years uh, back, we started commercial aquaculture. Otherwise, all were our uh, semi-commercial and small scale aquaculture. Uh, you, you, we, some, some examples, examples of small scale household pond, you can see house, how household pond works over here. Mostly I said integrated, uh, some are integrated with vegetables, the pond dike system. Uh, so this is an example of one of the NAP uh, research we did in Nawal Parashi. 
this uh, pond with pond dye cultivation with vegetables so the farmers can uh, get their nutrition as well as they can sell if they have surplus. It's basically targeted for nutrition aspect. Uh, so this is a pond dike, dike for vegetables, green water irrigate vegetable and dike and waste vegetables as input for pond. So uh, this is how the system goes for the uh, small scale and mostly you can see the integration of livestock also in some ponds. Uh, you manure the pond, urine to pond, waste feed in, uh, input for pond. I don't know how clear it is, some uh, pig seed and some buffalo sitting inside in the pond. So all the urine and uh, whatever goes is in the pond is the input basically for that. Uh, this is a, as you see in mid hills, that's a middle aquaculture. When we, uh, that's, you, you can see this, this photograph is basically uh, this last time, I think. Uh, this photograph was in previously shown over there. And this is a uh, mid hill, it's a very hard time in mid hills. We tried uh, promoting mid hills, the moderate uh, the area is mid hill. So this project was started uh, when it was, uh, there was no linked road to the village. So you can see the, the, this. Uh, you can see this uh, plastic bag with the fish and carrying the bag, half an hour walk, and they just try to build ponds, stocking and harvesting fish. That's for initiation. Now, that's a li uh, link now. The road link now has expanded tremendously. We started with 20 ponds, now there's 150 ponds now. That's how the small uh, middles are targeting. And so we just trying to see this uh, small scrap of the indicated farming, light wood based, family nutrition, surplus lace, productivity is going five to, uh, three to five tons per hectare per year. So we, when we talk about the small scale live wood nutrition, the species are basically use the calves, which grow faster, and the new species, small, small indigenous species, which is cis now, these are the small fish which can be eaten whole, and the, all the nutrients, basically the vitamins and minerals, iron, are the rich in this fish. So these fish are eaten whole, no wastage. Big fish, wastage a lot. So these are more nutrients, and for family consumption, uh, it's, it can be helpful. So this is the integration of these two species. Bigger fish, they can sell, smaller fish, they can eat for household for nutrition basically. So the small scale, how it works in small scale with some spawn, different activities and uh, supporting each other, this is how the models comes up. Uh, some semi, this is a semi-commercial one, I said this is a system going on common caps, intense semi-intensive system and major production in sale. These are bigger ponds and some dike cultivation too. Uh, you can see the market uh, over there, local market, this is a, a market in uh, central market, it's a local market. Uh, there are some of the shohar and tilapia work just going on, uh, working together. This fish is tilapia, a mix of tilapia, talking with shohar. Shohar is indigenous species and very good fish, trying to promote this fish and trying to combine this fish to uh, predate the small tilapia and keep the fish growing up. Uh, this is of the Cage Culture Lake Reservoir. Uh, you can see this is uh, Kule Khani and Feva Lake. That's uh, basically extensive type of semi aquaculture type, low feeding system. Uh, just copying, getting food from the nat nature. Uh, this is the, some Feva Lake and Kule Khani Reservoir. We have some systems here. This is the outcome for the Cage Culture. And uh, some commercial farming coming up, the catfish culture. Uh, you can see this catfish uh, culture, now the productivity is very good. Uh, it's coming up, not very high, but it's still it's some ponds. You can see this uh, another commercial fish culture, Pangasius is coming up. Uh, productivity is going 30 to 40, not, not be many ponds, many farms. This is only through three or four farms, I think, now in Nepal, it's coming up. It's commercial scale. So, you know, trout farming is a mid, very high, uh, in mid hills and high hills. Uh, you can see terraces, you can see the trout farming is coming at basically uh, commercial farming. And for luxury market, basically some luxury market, I say, those who can pay high value fish. Uh, some of this, I will give some claims of Aqua Fish Innovation Lab in Nepal project. Uh, we have involved in since many years, uh, a small one. This year we have a little directly involved the University of Michigan. Oregon State, the main one, and then University of Michigan and Nepal, we agriculture and forestry university. So overall objective of this is uh, develop environmental sustainable and efficient system, enhance household consumption of fish. So we're focusing nutrition uh, mostly in this aspect too. So there are, I have put some, some projects, uh, this under, uh, under process. Uh, this uh, we production of seed corruption shahar. This is basically we promoting shahar and need the seed production. So we emphasize in the seed production shahar so that it can be combined to tilapia culture. So periphyton based aquaculture, household pond in Nepal, this for nutrition based 
and this is a small indigenous fish. We trying that one to see, we said, and uh, demonstrating value of tilapia and shoha. These two species combining with the carp and giving productivity increase. So working at the government institution, and uh, this one in establishing a school fund for fish farming education to improve health and nutrition of women and children. So we trying to put a school demonstration pond in a school, teaching the students, uh, school students, and then can, they can carry their message to the household and fa their family home, and that will improve our uh, some uh, small aqua purpose. That's how we feel it. So this is what aqua fish, and uh, uh, I'm doing that one. Uh, we're working this little bit now. That's all. Thank you very much. To learn more about scaling and how you can contribute to this growing body of knowledge, please visit agrilinks.org slash scaling.